Hey, I'm Jake, and get ready to app all night. Have I ever told you that you're the bomb, Hunters? A game where you have to search for and defuse bombs in the time allotted. Along the way, pick up coins and tokens like the blue watch, which increases time, or the magnet, which draws in nearby tokens. Once you've defused all the bombs in a section, go through the headquarters and on to the next challenge. At headquarters, you rank up for rewards like bomb malfunction or more money. With enough coins, you can unlock characters, and after each level, you have the option to collect power-ups. There are also new bomb suits to acquire, which give you more lives. Sometimes you'll encounter obstacles like heavy traffic or getting across a river without drowning. You also have to watch out for enemy snipers and grenadiers trying to kill you. The further you progress in the game, the more simultaneous bombs there will be that require your diffusing skills. There are also mini-games that throw in different challenges for success. Man, you know, diffusing bombs requires patience, which you'll need for Kami 2, where you have to turn all of this into one color within a set number of moves. It starts off pretty simple and only takes two or three tries. You'll sometimes have to change the color of one portion to the color of another, and now you have a larger area enabling you to match the last section. You can also unlock a feature that lets you design your own challenge. Testing it sets the precedent for the maximum number of moves other players should solve it in. The game has over a hundred puzzles and they get pretty tough to figure out, but it's worth that magical feeling when you see it beautifully unfold into one solid color. Now it takes a lot of strategy, but there's nothing you can't do once your plan is afoot. E. Golf. Footy golf is exactly like playing real golf, except there's no golf balls, clubs, or really anything that similar. The goal of this game is to get the ball in the net with as few kicks as possible. You are given a certain number as well, so if you exceed that, you'll have to restart the level. Although the primary goal is efficiency, it is important to collect coins along the way in order to open up new characters and new levels. A blue diamond is available in every level, but is generally much harder to get than the coins. These allow you to unlock various balls with different capabilities. Not only are coins and diamonds beneficial, but a certain amount is necessary in order to gain experience points. It's easy to under or overshoot, but as you go, you'll get a feel for how much power to use and at what angle. Also beware of obstacles like spikes or lava, just like a traditional golf course. Check that out, my skills are out of this world, so let's just leave it entirely with Gravity Galaxy, where you go on a mission to get back to Earth. Your spacecraft starts off on a rotating planet. Tap to launch yourself towards the next one at the correct time, or hold down to actually see the path it will take you on. The translucent sections around each orb indicate the strength of the gravitational field in addition to steering straight into a planet, you can use the gravitational field to slingshot you, hopefully in the right direction. But sometimes it throws you into an empty abyss. Abyss. Things start popping up at different levels like blazing stars, alien lasers, and orbiting planets. When you enter new zones, you can experience new features like these super cool purple planets, which, oh, actually just made me explode. If only I could go back in time. Oh wait, we can with causality. Causality is awesome. Featuring temporal physics, the goal of this game is to get the astronauts from their starting point to their ending point in the designated number of moves. Swipe down to move forward and up to rewind, which you will find yourself having to do a lot. Tap on the arrow tiles to switch the direction of travel. Each square takes up a turn and when you reach the end of the timeline, it won't let you move any further, so you'll have to rewind either by swiping or by tapping a place in the timeline. Also, watch out for tentacles if you aren't interested in being sucked into the water. When you get to the second world, you'll be introduced to time portals, which send you back to a point on the timeline. This causes a clone to appear, and you must use it to reach the end. Things get more and more complex as you go, but it is a great way to get you thinking of time in a non-linear way. Links to all the apps can be found in the description below, and if you want more apps in your life, there's a playlist filled with them right here, so you can uh, have more fun, have more love, have more excitement in the form of mobile games. It's really wonderful. Also, welcome to my apartment in New York. This is the first time it's been on camera. I live in New York. I also live in LA. I'll explain why in a vlog at some point in my life. But yes, I love you. And as always, thanks for watching. And, but really, I love you. It's the main, main takeaway. Whew, that felt good to say.